Hi there, dear friends and deep thinkers. Ha, ah, it's time again. You know, we want to create an empire because we're such a brilliant strategist. We have the perfect plan for it. But there's, <laughs> there's also other things we want to do. And uh, first, we need a little bit of money because um, if we not have like a, a thousand money or something like that, then wars will be a big risk. Also, we need to repair purple girdle. And the St. George's vertebra. Uh, what would St. George do without his vertebra? That is at us. Um, <clears throat> we could usurp the empire of Tahert, as they are currently not at war. And that would be great, because, um, as you can see, everything of that is in our realm. So let's usurp that. Here we go. Now, um, let's see, how many duchies do we have? Duchy of Toledo, Granada, Tahert. Tahert, I think one of our guys, Farte um, Ordonio Violantes of Portugal. He has this, he has this, and... He also has this, and so he should gain the title of the duchy. He should be the Duke of Tired. That will help him a lot, and uh, it's also what we want to give him. The duchy of Tired. Great stuff. Um, we should find him a spouse, maybe. <clears throat> Just so he, he doesn't he doesn't marry um, on his own. And we don't and we'll have a second to check and then we'll see. She should be just as old as he is. Maybe an albino. That would be that would be preferred. But let's see. Some of all skills. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> No albinos here. Curses. Um, someone wheezing. Oh, maybe an adult, I don't know. Maybe all. And the sign of purity is albinoism, so to us anyways. So we have Wilhelmina, diligent, calm, colors. My son is charming. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they are kids, albino kids. Princess Marth of Burgundy, she's content. Mm. She's pretty and an albino. Mm. That would kind of fit Princess Marthy of Burgundy. Yeah, let's have a look at the kids, rather. Here's a kid we want a kid. Catalina Orsones de Cantabria, granddaughter of Infante Ramon. Albino and Comely, nice. Sibyl Carling Rothenberg, Constance Sigardinger. Oh God, what a name! What a name! Our niece would be would be good. I mean, she's content. Um, that would make her kind of chill, right? Content and pretty. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Um. King Arnul of Burgundy, our brother-in-law and friend. Yeah, that's that's totally fitting, right? Friends, kids together and stuff. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So here we go. Hey, you can marry a duke, the new Duke of Tahert. That's pretty great. Uh, we can hold court, but we don't have enough money to risk to hold court. <laughs> Your son will be betrothed. Nice. Um. So we have the adventure inspiration, a skill is legendary, a master, but we don't have the money at the moment. 
Just have to have like a thousand gold or somehow. A curse undone. God knows. I was cursed the day I met Vela, our rival. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that hysterical knave to his grave. I mean, we're compassionate, but we're still a little bit relieved, I would say, that Vel Vela has died. And we really, really, we wounded him, so we are kind of... But he declared us rival, and we could not do otherwise. We want to duel our rivals. As much as we can. As much as we can. We can ransom someone. And we can create Maghreb and Navarra. No county control in Coenza. Mm. Let us see. Yeah, we repairing Hunyan. I've arrived in Toledo, Toledo to pay homage to you. Infantiguilian. Oh, our son. Or as we call him secretly, Scaly is here. Scaly is a very nice man. He's also compassionate as we are stubborn. And he's a little bit impatient though. But he's still a, a great knight and ruler. Does he love his betrothed? We don't know. But she's chaste now, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Show him in at once. Hey there, son. Serve me well. But, uh, you know, you're a great chap. You're a great chap. We could call for a hunt while we're waiting. Hmm. Yeah... What could we, should we, would we do? We're still a pilgrim. Still a pilgrim. Eva comes of age. Oh, nice. She's an adult. And she's, wow, she's a meters touched woman. They grow up fast. Let's see, she's chaste, patient, and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my husband, I'm too lazy today. I'm too lazy today. Guitier mm. Vivilez de Cantabria, Duchy of Marrakesh. Our nephew. Hmm. She's, she's 14. He's, she's 16, he's 14. Yeah, he's he's a pretty good choice, I get. Get it. He's not the heir to anything, but he has eighteen claims. No, why not? Let's marry in here. A better contract. My cousin Duke Lorian approaches me with a serene smile. Ah, if you would, I, I would appreciate if we could renegotiate my contract, my king. An improvement would, of course, be met with enthusiasm from my treasury or my lands. Oh man! Yeah, you're a fantastic knight. You're a fantastic knight. Uh We would get the county of Alcanis. Really? He would give us a county? Where the hell is Alcanis, though? Ah, it's here. Okay, okay. There's someone close that would be maybe a. Um, I mean. We would gain stress if we're not dealing with it. I have been interested in Alcanes. 
Gladly accept your betrothal. Your daughter Eva and I will be the best couple ever. Alcanes, okay. It's a very good realm. We should give it to one of our sons. Let's see. What do you have? So Tind of Tanas. Nah, you're you're more into into Africa, right? Um, Sun Vassal and Ward Tahert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, little one? What do you have? Nothing so far. Oh, okay. I guess I guess I'll give you Alcanis. Little boy. And the kingdom of Valencia on boat on top? No. Not yet. You'll gain that. You're a vassal now and we'll ally you. It will stress us, but we want to help him. We want to help our little son. Alcanis is just a pretty, pretty good thing, and it will have good income instantly. He has a temple, he has a castle, pastures, hunters' lodges, bastions, crop fields. He'll have very good income from that. Can transfer our son, uh, we don't really want to transfer our son to the Infante. Pelayo the Viguera would make for an accomplished commander. Definitely a flexible leader, a rough terrain expert and a pr brilliant strategist. He's only 50. Only 50. <sighs> How much would it quano? By right, my wife has informed me of a obscure law in the county of Porto. It says nothing but the king, maybe its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to, be, to put Duke Poncio, my vassal and current ruler of the county of Porto, in his place. I mean, we kind of like him. He doesn't really like us because he's, yeah, 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 he's two titles. One of them is the County of Porto. Where's the County of Porto? It's here. I mean, the law is clear, the king has full right. Poncio can keep the title by my grace. He would become angry otherwise. Uh, I mean, it's not like he. I mean, he would he would only be the duke without any land. Then I'm not sure if this is a good idea. On the other hand, what does he do for me? He would just be a landless duke then. <laughs> no. <laughs> His spouse is... Why does uh, his spouse like me so much? The wife of Duke Poncio. Exalted, gallant, magnificent regalia, handsome. Wow. Well... Hard decision, kind of. I mean, I'm really tempted to take this and give it to our son. No, we'll, we'll keep that in his hands. It's it's really fine. What's going on in Asturias, by the way? 
Wow, Astorias is really suffering. Uh, is it king? Is it? He must be stressed like no tomorrow, but it seems like he isn't, though. Is he? Temptation focus. He has even more fertility. What the heck? <laughs> and he has only three kids. What is going on there? With his wife and him. Yeah, he's got a lover, of course. Unworthy peasants. While I was in the castle town with Infante Nunu, his attention was caught by a criminal. Ah, yeah. He made a show of ignoring... Mm. Nunu Violantes. Uh... No, child, bring the poor man the water he asks for. He'll be compassionate, just like we are. I mean, it will... Only lead to problems, but uh, we want the kids to be like we are. And now we need to go for a hunt again. The horns sound. Injured! Bounding through the farmlands, I'm gaining on the powerful bear I've been chasing for hours. Just as I prepare to strike, I hear my cousin Duke Glorian cry out in pain. He has fallen and is now clutching at his leg. Lorian, there's no time to lose. The bear is escaping. No, no. We're compassionate. I will tend to him. Absolutely no doubt that we'll do that. Returning from the wild, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the farmlands behind as the light fades from the sky. I've held my share of hunts and people around me have started to take notice. Word is spreading my activities. Our hunt ends for now. And the question is, what should we hunt now? What indeed? That's the Shikedom of Algier. That is... it's not good? Oh, well, because we have a truce with them. Okay. How about... Wow, Samoa is really getting taken apart. Tagaza? Hmm. The duchy, the county. Aha, okay. We'd have to gain if we go get in for the duchy. has three allies that are not that strong and we would have Lamta it's even less good the Lamta Emirate or for a county wow uh, the duchy seems to be big yeah Got three allies, but they are. Vi he has no soldiers at all. Emir of Tagaza would be on him. Okay, okay. 2600 and the Emirate of Tagaza. 3600. Lamta, ha Havara, and Tamanid. I mean, strategically, that would be the better position. Then we have some more that would be the even better position, but really, um, Duchy of Suez, Emirate of Samoa, County of Samoa, Agadir, Ifni, Duchy of Suez. I mean, that would be good. It would be Agadir and Ifni. That would be the easiest, really, to go for Zeus. We already have Zeus. Our son is holding that thing. And maybe just a small... minute arms regimen would be enough. The 
Holy orders are also there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll declare war for the Duchy of Sus. Take these two lands. And here we go. We don't need all the armies, we only need the men at arms. That's our army. That too. Just need to get in there. Fear Bo is an experienced fighter. Oh. Oh, oh well. We'll just siege. It's okay. Sieging will be done quickly. Trothid can marry. Let's see. So we have Infante Guyen and Leo de Gundia. She's chaste, arrogant, and callous, compassionate, stubborn, and impatient. I mean, they're not opposites. Chance of children will be low. Ah, <laughs> uh, they will have enough children. I trust. I trust. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I graciously take the hand of your son in holy patrimony, but you always say matrimony, okay. Fantiguyen Aldonces of Portugal. Our pure, pure niece. We'll take Agadir. Ah, level of splendor increased. We're known far and wide. Glorious. Next level would be fabled, the fabled Livigildian dynasty. Nice. We control Agadir. Great stuff. Um, now we could uh, send ourselves over here to the barony of Null Lamta. Ide Gelonis and Loup de Feroz, our guest and the daughter of Count Ansel. They are now married. Whatever. <laughs> they can do what they want, I guess. Cocky Guyen, I write to inform you that my wife Elisa has eloped with your son and the heir Infante Christian. What? Let me be frank, this is a grave insult and a stain on your family's honor. If the happy couple seeks refuge in Toledo, I trust you will teach them a lesson. What? Son, what did you do? Elisa, what? What is going on there? Uh, what a catastrophe. Christian marries Mayor Elisa. What the hell? An irrational grasper? What the hell? I gave you that dream woman here. That is so similar to you, and you want... <sighs> what a catastrophe. Ah. Uh. She likes us, but we hate her. Disgraced. Uh, well, we don't. We don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. We're still pretty stressed. I would be stressed at that. Apparently, 
We're not stressed about. Okay. Ah, he got excommunicated. <laughs> Gods, no! What are you doing, son? Oh no, you're excommunicated. What did he do? Kids screwing things up reliably. <sighs> we have a new archbishop. Is he better than the old one? <gasps> Way better. Oh, thankfully. We have a mastermind philosopher. Oh, he will he will live for a while, I hope. Oh. Can we be re-communicated? Oh, such a disgrace. Our sister Eva drank herself to death. Oh, gods, Ramon, how do you feel now? Pretty stressed, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I expected that. Well, even legends have to die. Count Domingo? Ah, okay. Yeah. We trust it can marry. With Thierry we will list the Cantabria, our nephew, and our daughter. All right. A sudden shock. What? I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm as I take yet another gallop down the practice range. The commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. An instant momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down! Calm down. In charge. I can feel myself being thrown left and right, but no motion can make me lose my grasp on the reins of the saddle. My commands eventually soothe the horse, and the animal is soon back to stomping eagerly on the hard pack ground as stable as ever. I'll take personal care. Train this one, we could gain a war horse. It was stresses, yeah, but I would take personal care. It's it's good, it's it's good to take personal care. Army gold maintenance goes down. Yeah, prepared conscription. That seems good. Gold is exactly the problem that we have. The warhorse, admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to what I call her. A name inspired by history. Mythology is full of awe-inspiring house name. It's just a horse. Ah, oh, no. History it is. Strategy. Inspired by the famous horses belonging to leaders and heroes of old. I will name my mare after one of them. Ah. <laughs> Emperor Caligula's favorite incitatus. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we'll go for after Incitatus. Emperor Caligula's favorite. Legend has it that Incitatus, his horse, ruled with him. It will be called Incitatus. What happened? Ah. Eadred can no longer convert faith. Well, we'll confer convert more faith then. We'll convert it, uh, I don't know, here in, in Sijamendabar. Sijamanaza, here we go. Only five years. The siege is won. The deed is not done. Done. No. We'll see what we can do. And what you want them to. We have a kind of an advantage here. Oh, help him out. Come on. Charge in there. And indeed, our men at arms beat them handily. The enemy banner! The Battle of Ifni ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listened to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander Infanteramon. 
and then to turn the soldiers before me. My lord, we cornered the remaining enemies as they made a valiant stand. They gave their lives protecting this banner. Uh, it will make a fine addition to my collection. And actually, we're so impressed by him. And we think he, yeah. He should be rewarded. We will give him the Zamorian war banner. Where is that? I mean, we know he's getting kind of old. Might be the last chance. It's a masterwork. It's a masterwork. Maybe it's so good, we'll give him something else. <laughs> we'll give him a war banner. Forgetting the war banner. Olmido. I don't know. The elven war banner. Yeah, I think he has Elvas too. I'm not sure. No, he only has these. The Duchy of Quimbra. Hmm. Cantabria banner. Well, he should gain something. I don't know exactly what. The Morian War Banner, Court Grandeur bonus, plus two advantage in dry lands and 95. Oh, well, he'll get that. He'll get that. He has taken that personally and he's just was just great at that and So he'll get it. What what do we have here by the way? Where oh, Ifni is just dependent on that one fort, is that right? I think it is. And this has stopped the siege progress. Oh, that wasn't great. But we'll now go forward. Oh no! Yuvalam Tuna is no longer our antiquarian. Mm. We need someone else then. Average. Ah, do we have someone in the prison? Need to look into the prison again. Uh, Hello, house arrested rivals. How do you feel? <laughs> well, our court physician is excellent. I don't know. Mm, your nephew. His poor aptitude, but he's married to our daughter and he's here. Mm. would protect them. Mm, he's a passable knight. Yeah. He can do that. We trust him. Kind of. He'll learn on all guards. Our steward is done and out. Hmm. We have our son. Fontiguian. The scaly one. And our cousin, Lorian. Oh. Probably one of the most uh, powerful men. Yeah, we should we should honor him with that. And hopefully stress him out. Indeed a beautiful battle. Exotic arms along with their strange goods merchants bring tall tales from distant lands, unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Baranis peddlers purport to have brought Kashmiri Sansung objects said to have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, Maharaja Junji of the Wizarded Kingdom, no less. Tawes, the trading leader grins darkly, resentful, cra craven, stubborn, arrogant, and indulgent wastrel. Prince Darkly, this unique armor could be yours for a special price, of course, great king. A likely yarn indeed. I'd look to Gadjera for guidance. I cannot recommend this work, my leech. The hammer dens are uh, wistful. He nods at me stupidly. The Kashmiri Sansung. Ha, Data Devi, what tribe? Out with you. We'll listen to him. Which is Isabel was taken prisoner by our son. 
What's happening? He's attacking Adolfonso of Asturias. He will become the king of Asturias? Oh, no, he's he wants an artifact he has. Okay, okay, all right. I mean, we respect our son, but we also face palm. We face palm hard. Why, you ask? Because he has managed to get himself excommunicated. Ah! <laughs> Our niece was taken prisoner by Du Thomas after he won the battle of what? What is happening here? Knight's Hospitalia has been called by Infante Drillian. What are you doing? Defending against leader Aladdin of the Peasant Revolt. Okay. Well, good on you. Call the knights in. Hey, we've won the war. The Duchy of Suez is ours. And so be it. Nice. So we got the Duchy of Suez. Um, we already had the County of Suez by Nunu. Nunu has the County of Tinduf and Tanath. And he'll get the two other counties as well as we there we have how many baronies are we there the county of ifni is stupidly big the county of sus and the barony of agadir we'll give that to our son to the five-year-old son hmm. Uh, to the eight-year-old son? No. Mm. How old are Eleven-year-old son. Okay. Opinion of us. Here we go. You'll get that thing. County of Agadir. And the Duchy of Suez should go to him. And let's see, can we grant him the Duchy of Suez? No. Maybe we need to create it first. Let's find out. The Duchy of Suez. You, my son, will get the Duchy of Sous. And theoretically, he should get one more holding then, because he's a duke. Oh, here's a tribe there. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, he has Agadir and he has Sous. That's a tribe, I can still not get it. Mm. Both are tribes. What the heck? <laughs> uh, that's his problem, I guess. We have that thing. Mm. I don't know whom I should give it to. I will give it to him. He can have someone on his own. To give it to. It will stay in the realm, if need. Okay, so we have Zeus. Nice. So, what will be next? Gaza here, which is under attack. Lamta here, which is, I think, not under attack. Emir Frazen. Hmm. Or the Empire of Mzab. Or the Sheikdom of Algier. Interesting, interesting. We 
is that other thing? Ah, look at that. High Chiefdom of Sardinia or the Duchy of Alga? Uh, we'll go for the County Sheikdom of Alga and then you can stay in Sardinia. <laughs> the Mosque of Medea will become... Uh -huh. Anyways, we'll declare war. We are holy. It's a holy war. Come on. Rally points is here. Raise the men at arms. And try to do it personally. March. Servant of honesty. I was shocked when I called Infante Nunu trying to steal the travel chest of Mayor Munio. He confessed he had thought he could get away with it, but uh, now knows it was wrong. Honesty will serve you best in the long run, child. He's a righteous empath. I don't know if that will help him. <laughs> okay, we'll find him a spouse. Anyways, he has two defining traits. He's compassionate and honest. Um, mm, uh, well, honest Lubicha Dewinsky, she's also scaly. Um, no childs. Albino, honest, but 34, that's not really good. Just honest. Not someone young. Ah, the granddaughter of Infante Ramon. Munya Donna Viviles de Cantabria. Yeah, she's a little bit club footed, but what? <laughs> no. We really have to look into that. Hmm. I think she's still the best choice. Congratulations, you have a spouse. She's a little club-footed, but whatever. Son will be betrothed to my daughter. Hmm, nice. Uh, they're going to Bejaya. I don't know. Will they attack us? If they embark, then... I don't know. I think they're going to, to... Ah, they're going over here. Well, interesting. Child of my dynasty. My daughter Eva has given birth to a daughter. Nice! She's She will be of a Livigildiana. Quick, beautiful. How about you become kind of a diplomat? I don't know. Can we, can we choose that? Here we go. You could be diplomatic daughter uh, granddaughter rather Queen Violante oh, why not may you grow to be strong and wise Violante is also profiting We're here in Algier Doing our thing. Heresy, Mandians in Istria. What twisted mockery is this? I seized Marita's golden legend after the seas of. Oh. 
Aha, learning lifestyle. Marita's golden legend. Nice. Duke Adelshiz converted. Hmm. There's a couple of people here. We'll move over and defeat them. Yay! We've won. <laughs> okay. Give me Algier. And disband the army. Algier. Part of the kingdom of the Duchy of Algier. We have Tanas. Who has Tanas? Nunu has Tanas. Okay. Mm. He has the duchy of Suz. He should also get the duchy here. Let's see if we can uh, release some people from prison. No. He should get the duchy here, but still Alger Tanas should maybe be given to someone else. Uh, or oh, Algier. Mm. Rui Leonoris Vimaranis. What? In Salamanca. Who and why? But he likes us a lot. Okay. Our brother in law. Cowardly Ravener. Count Ramon Andreses. Hmm. Duke Lorian Steward. He has. Hmm. He is in the county, but he has no one. As far as his Countess Elvira. Oh, oh yeah, he has, he has already a couple of counties. Okay. Sons, how about you? What have you? You have the county of Alcanes. Yeah, well, you can get that, but, hmm. I'm not sure. That will only lead to a war between, between the kids. Better he doesn't have it. If they both want the same thing, you know how it is. With relatives, um, Ahmad, our marshal. Yeah, he'll die soon. Then some mayors, Zentulo. Let's go to a steward and court physician. I don't know. Elorian. Oh. So many people like us. Count Andres Viveles of Tadla, our nephew and Duke de Spineless Blackguard. Just what we need. Yeah. <laughs> Just what we need there. Joffre the Headless de Lorac. What about him? He seems like a pretty adventurous man, a lunatic. Lustful, deceitful and impatient. I don't know. <laughs> he likes us a lot, but how do we like him? We hate him with a passion. That's not good. Um, Berkan. Yeah... Wow, we, we really don't like many men. Ulrich von Hardeck. Count Pero Pontius de Barraganza. A vassal? Hmm. Velasco Lopez de Cantabria. The son of Count Lope. Oh. Uh. Hmm. 
There's one claim, the county of Castellon. Oh, it's kind of hard getting that. Let's rather look at our court. And let's see what we can give out there. Do we like someone? Our daughter, of course, we like. Our knight, we kind of hate. We hate most of the people at our court, by the way. Guillomar García de Briteros, our cupbearer. You're growing kind of old. Yilian Lamtuma, our court tutor. Dominigo. Akorakor, our knight. I don't know. Ramon Pelaez, another knight. We kind of like this man. Because he's kind of virtuous, we have mutual respect. He's gout ridden. Um, hmm. Doesn't feel nice. How about Lucidio? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Whom do we like for this? Yeah, we'll look into the dynasty again. Mm. Ramon Dominguez, he's an heir. Pinola Ramon, yes. Grandson of Impan Infante Ramon. Mm. That's his parents. How about his second grandson here? The compassionate thinker. Gregarious, patient, trusting, quick. He'll be a good ruler. We'll give him that. We'll give. We'll. I think we should give him that. Mm. Or maybe not. Oh God! It's so, it's so hard. It's so hard. Let's see. Mm. Someone really weird, maybe. Maybe we should do that, yeah. Mm. Andres Fronildes de Cantabria. No, he's connected to Lorien. We'll not give it to anyone connected to Lorien. How about you? A nephew, antiquarian and knight. He's reclusive as well. Maybe maybe we've met. He's gluttonous, shy, ambitious. He has too many claims. Luke de Sar Salaka. Don't need only from the dynasty. We'll give it to someone random. I'm sorry that I'm dwelling so much on this, but sometimes it's just... really bad. Berkan, he's forgiving, just ambitious. We kind of tolerate him. He's not especially competent. Hmm. Count Muschabeer of Alicante. Count Count Duke Ulrich von Hardegg. House Hardegg. Nah, that would be out of this world. We even don't like him. Pedro Christianes de Cantabria. Our grands, our grandson, of course. Now we have it. Now we have it. You, Pedro Christianes de Cantabria. 
you will get that thing. County of Algia. Here we go. Pedro de Cantabrias. This is where it begins. Now, there's a modifier that is called Aggressive War or something like that. That's only visible in some of our people. Let's see. Um, relationships. King Arnul. I mean, it's not in that one. I believe it's gonna weigh now, okay. Victory was never in doubt. Okay, maybe we can go to Mzab now. Ah, that's a truce, okay. There's Samu. There's the Emirate of Tagaza. Allies are few. The county, no. Aduchi, I guess. Aduchi. That's all the, the guys that would want to help. Okay. Okay, it's time again. Declare the war on Emil Bukus of Tagaza. We'll go here. Or maybe even here, I don't know. Yeah, here. The barony of Tinduf Road. <laughs> what? The barony of Ta Taos. Move them here. That seems to be relatively good here. Raise the men at arms. The quality is... The quantity. Uh, they joined the Holy War. Oh my goodness me, it's occupied by someone else. The barony of Timbuktu. A strong opponent, I guess. Uh, oh well. Well, first we'll have to go here. And then we'll see. He's doing that in a way, uh, old man. Uh, we want to keep you around for a bit. Let's go for for this uh, old man, the desert warrior. We'll do it. Strike the shields. Ransom? Oh, a ransom. He wants to gain Domingo. Yes, okay. Of course, our daughter will be there and... Um, Ah, won the Battle of Hodna. A curse undone. Arnul de Balban has died. From House Balban. Here we go. We're relieved of stress. What's what's happening with our inventory? Uh, we have Margarita's Golden Legend. Learning lifestyle. Hmm. I mean, we don't need that. Morin core house ornament. Finger bones of a saint. Astro Leonese brooch. Margarita's legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hagiographies, okay. Durability. Let's repair some of that stuff. Let's 
Siege what you can. What is that? Is that an enemy army or what? We can ask our head of faith for gold. Ah, oh, yeah, it has been a long time. Slow county control somewhere. But do not fear, Infante Christian is coming. To Cuenza. Yeah, may these funds bring us victory. They have a really good fort there in the middle of the desert. Oh, we can negotiate an alliance with Andres, our uh, nephew and Duke Adolfonso's chancellor. Whatever. Ah, uh, alliance formed with him. A scheme. Someone is plotting to kill my knight Ramon Pelaez. Who would do that? We must stop the villain behind this. Uh -huh. We gain stress because of the... Right. Sunny day. As I make my way to the stable, I'm greeted by the happy knight of Incitatus. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather, and I can do nothing but agree. Uh, I must take every moment to practice. Day's too fine. Yeah, I will take practice. We're still ambitious enough for some practice. Let's go for some hard rule, though. But we must also relax. Let's see what we can do. And seclude ourselves to focus. I'm truly at peace alone in my room. Playing uh, strategic games. That's what he does. Like He goes to his room and then he plays historical strategic games with uh, wooden figurines of exquisite making. That's what everyone would do. So he's like all of us. That's still King Gillian. He's like all of us. There's a dangerous faction. Who is that dangerous faction? Peasant rebel? Where are they? Toledo, Ucles, Madrid? Not afraid. Even the levies will be good against that. We can create three titles. And the Duchy of Alga. Yeah. We should really create the Duchy of Alga. Create the title. Uh, because... Yeah, we've had Alger and we have Yalala, our son and vassal. Should get that. The Duchy of Alger. Great stuff. It's so expensive to make this all orderly. Wow, we're still sieging. The things we do, sometimes I think that there's no one I would rather spend my time with than my wife Violante. Of all the things to do in this life, we enjoy so many of the same ones. Life can be shared in many ways. Common interests, too. Indeed. Indeed. You, Glorian, you've got a faction. Against us. Our son learned the Iran Iranian language. I guess he's doing well. I don't know. Duke Lorian. <sighs> my daughter. Whenever I talk about Violante with my wife, Queen Violante, she always grows distant. Uh, of course she's my daughter. She's just a daughter. Come on. It's not that important. There's tons of people here in Tagaza. We'll need a little bit more from here. Raise the armies. 
What? Uh, taxis? Stop. We only need one of them. That will be okay. Don't gather more. No, no, no. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Rally the troops. Where are you? Here. Raise everything we have here. Who is that commander? Adolfonso the Third, Viviles of Marrakesh, her nephew. He's a good one. Um, troops. We should maybe do this ourselves. They have a good leader, but they have. Uh, Go here, then you'll go here, and then you'll go over there and destroy them all. We're coming in, and I hope we can do well. Let's find out. Where are we? We're here. You, sh you need to join us. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, we are hitting on the... Uh, more soldiers versus better army. Com they have a better army commander? Really? Maybe we need to fix some things here. Best commander, maybe? Now, who has the better armor commander? Uh, Forda. Well, he has the best advantage, anyways. Our friend Fronil died. Oh, God. It's getting worse and worse. We need to lash out. Hey, hey you! Lashing out on Duchess Isabel and Count Severico. And you, I don't think I see you. Oh, God. Oh, 5k. Can we get in here? We'll probably win. And you guys will follow up. Let's see. How is the battle going? Battle is going well. Decisive battle is coming. They don't even have a leader. You'll go over to Ukleth. We'll probably win there as well. Time is bad. The current moment. Schema discovered. Who is it? Mayor Edda. Is plotting against my knight Ramon, the vile fiend. We could imprison her, right? No. Plotting to kill someone, we'll expose this, right? Let's have a look. Hmm. We cannot really even expose it. Secrets known to me. Oh. <sighs> we 
We took someone hostage in the Peasant Uprising. Nice. Here we go. Enforce the demands. So be it. So this army can disband. And now we'll have a beautiful battle. Sayyid is coming in. Uh, <clears throat> and Christian has taken the artifact of King Adolfonso of Asturias. Congratulations, son. You're an absolute bastard, but... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we could imprison him. Uh, there's only one thing we can do. We can only found the Empire ourselves. Cannot rely on him. How is, how is that going? A keen eye! Fante Nunu seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. Of all the things, he could not stop talking about the rich clothes and glittering gold. Is that tra the trappings of power by which our world is ruled? Or he could become gregarious. Yeah, make friends at the feast. That's good. That's good. Victory in Tagaza. We'll probably win the battle here, the war. No, we'll not win, actually. Um, oh, we'll need all of our men here, right? Oh yeah, that seems better, a military engineer. Good stuff. Yeah, you'll stay here in the in the on the mosque of Tagaza Road. That seems like a good idea. What's going on there? Lambda Emirate is doing something there. Cold lessons. I understand you're interested in deepening your grasp on warfare. Duke Andre rearranges his shirt as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. Ah, uh, yes, misguided warrior. Andre is well known for his mastery of warfare in winter. Ah, winter soldier. There was one who could help me understand it would be him. Uh, I want to learn. Yeah, why not? Learn from God, from an old drunkard and winter soldier. He probably always has like a bottle of alcohol with him and that is good. Incitatus trusty mare. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty mare Incitatus and offers her services. All I ask in return is a small compensation. Oh, uh, to move more swiftly. Endurance, fierceness. Mm. We like endurance because we want it in life. Took a training well and results could be seen instantly. We have an enduring war horse. It was money well spent. Stress loss goes up. Good, good. What could we do? We can imprison mm, people. Fornicators. Ah, well. They're moving around there, splitting up. If we split our army here, will we be still able to... I don't know. Anyways, we're sieging very well. Some hybrids being formed. Roxana. What about you? Where did you go? Oh, she's an adventurer now. Tough luck. I guess we'll need to sponsor her inspiration. Prowess, diplomacy, and learning. Oh, but we don't really like her. We we even don't... Yeah, we mostly like her. Not that she wants to leave her position at court and leave us without an excellent court physician. Can we maybe hire her again? Yes, we can. <laughs> Please stay with us. Uh, 
Roxana. Please stay with us. We control to Gaza. We've won this war. The time is now. You disband all. Okay. The Barony of Saura. I swear this will not be a, such a mess as before. So I'll do it off screen. <laughs> and we'll meet each other next time. Trying to uh, get access to an empire. What are we missing? We're missing nine nine counties. We have three kingdoms. Our realm size is 71. We're getting closer. We have the prestige. We might have the piety in time. We'll get to it. We have to save our piety for now. We'll see each other soon. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Simon Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. We're lashing out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to, we need to do it. We can live on. We just need a couple more, a couple more things in a couple more years. And then finally, the empire will be there. Happy gaming to you. Have a great time until next time.